welcome to the Boss Up and Rise podcast. My name is Fabiola, the CEO of Hustler, your business coach for interpreters and entrepreneurs. This is your go-to place for all of your tips, resources, inspiration, motivation, health, life, and tips to help you start and grow your business. Let's continue to Boss Up and Rise. I used to think that only those with a master's degree or a bachelor's degree could start a business. When the world took a turn for the worst for the second time during the pandemic, I also thought that you could only be successful online if you actually have a degree. And that is such a lie and a bunch of BS. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Fabiola, the CEO Hustler, always helping you boss up and rise. Today, I want to share a few quick tips with you. Many things have changed throughout 2020 and into 21. And one thing that I learned is that we all have to learn to pivot. We all have to learn how to you know, evolve with the changes that happen around the world. Many of us get scared or don't know how or are afraid to ask for help. Do you agree? Well, even though I was already working from home um, and doing things remotely, believe it or not, it did scare me a bit for the simple fact that I had to learn new strategies, new methods, new ways on promoting my business, on you know, basically selling and marketing my services. And even though I'm pretty familiar, I don't consider myself being an online guru, but I love to research. So I quickly started to learn new strategies, new platforms. And within a couple of months, believe it or not, my business, my home business, um, started to flourish even more. So I was able to adapt with the changes once the school started to close, once you know the uh, businesses um, were no longer allowing on-site interpreters. So I reincorporated my over the phone, my video interpreting. So the changes for me were not as difficult as they were to many of you. So. I want to share these quick tips with you that actually helped me um, pivot during this pandemic because it won't be the first, it won't be the last. So it's important that you consider these things, that you start planning for the what ifs, right? So how did I do it? So one, I did my research, started to analyze the market, I started to prepare, incorporating what I was doing before, offering the over the phone services, the video interpreting services, helping and training my customers on how to learn the platforms because a lot of them were not familiar with them. Um, the other thing is that, you know, with the PPP loans and with all of the small business administration loans and things that were helping small businesses, I learned very quickly that, you know what, you always have to be prepared. So at the end of every year, I if you haven't checked my other podcasts or my YouTube channels, I invite you to do so on how to prepare for the end of the year because it helps you prepare. And so when all of these things came into place, the PPP loans and the EIDL loans, making sure that you had all of your ducks in a row. What do I mean by that? Well, making sure that you had your taxes, um, you know, in place, that you had filed them on time, that if you needed to make changes um, to make them, you know, in accordance and following the guidelines through your CPA or your um, uh, bookkeeper. Also, uh, making sure that you create a plan if you don't see I've talked about this before right that is the importance of having a business plan because as these things 
change as the world evolves, you're also making these changes onto your business plan. So what, how it helped me was that, okay, I had my business plan from like 10, 15 years ago, believe it or not. So I revisit that and, and I started to analyze, okay, like this was working before I was doing this, I was doing that. And I started to incorporate all of that with the pandemic and boy, did it save my life. You know, it, my business is still ha, has not stopped, thankfully, um, and I'm so grateful and blessed. But um, it's important that you incorporate these plans, your sales and marketing plan, understanding, learn how to do it, where to go, what to research, what to look for, what trends so that you can properly prepare. The other thing that I always tell you guys is that you have to prepare daily, weekly, monthly. And many of you guys will say, because you hear all these online gurus saying, oh, that's just too much work. Well, everything is work if you want to be successful, right? So preparing ahead of time will eliminate all of the stress and struggles and challenges that arise on a daily basis with our business. So if I prepare, for example, I create my... Uh, social media posts or my blogs or my YouTube um, videos, as well as my entrepreneurship cafe membership group um, things to do, my training and modules. I try to plan those on a daily, weekly basis so that I'm not overwhelmed when new assignments arise because I am still providing on site interpreting services over the phone, video interpreting as well as my coaching, training, and mentorship. But I'm also doing um, training and development and translation uh, services. And I do have a few clients where I do provide virtual administrative services. So imagine trying to run a business, incorporating all of these things on top of being a wife, being a mother, running a household. It can become very chaotic. But what saves me every single time is my planning. So it, I have another video as well where I share with you guys how I've kind of trained my children and my husband um, so that they understand what I have going on. And if something arises for them, for example, uh, a boxing event or I don't know, some, a school meeting or an employee meeting, you name it, right? I tell my, my kids and my husband, okay, this is my little board. This is the calendar. This is where I need you guys to input whatever tasks you guys have going on, whatever events you guys have going on. So that way when I'm personally preparing for my business, I take all of those activities and all of those events into account. And make sure that I'm involved in everything that my children are doing. Something that I did not do 10 years ago. So let me know in the comments, shoot me an email, record your message, and I'm happy to share it onto my podcast. I would love to hear from you guys. How do you guys plan your days, your months, your weeks? How did you guys pivot in 2021 how did your business survive what did you guys do i'm sure that my audience would love to hear your guys's insights and tips and recommendations because after all this channel is to serve the community to help one another and to share our tips resources and information because sharing is caring my friends don't forget to subscribe don't forget to donate to my channel don't forget to check out my YouTube, my blog, my blog, my blog. <laughs> and again, I, you know, nobody's perfect. And that's the beauty of this online world now that you can make these mistakes and you can, you know, be yourself. At the end of the day, that's what we want is be ourselves. Let's continue to boss up and rise, friends. And let's keep pushing forward. Hasta la vista. Till next time.